Hello everybody, my name is Smarty, short for Smarty Reads, and welcome back. Today I'm going to read Chapter 8 of Mallory McDonald, Baby Expert. It's called A Declaration. Before we begin, make sure you like this video, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Also, share this video with your friends and family so they can watch me read as well. Other than that, let's begin. A Declaration. This morning turned out to be an even bigger surprise than I had planned, and not a good surprise. I pushed my chair back and put my feet on top of my desk. Just thinking about what happened makes me mad. Marianne and Joey never came to the wish pond. I, wait, I waited for them, but they never showed up. We never ate the picnic breakfast I made. Actually, I ate it. But I ate it alone, not with my friends. And they never did the scavenger hunt I planned for them. I think about all the stuff I lugged outside to the wish pond. I think about all the stuff I brought home and put away. I think about how hard I worked to plan something fun and special for my friends. All my hard work for, was for nothing. And then at the top there's Mallory being mad at her desk when cheeseburger in the corner. I made a wish that my friends would realize that even though they have a new baby brother, we're still friends too. But now I hope I see that th that that this wish is not coming true. Mom told me that I would have to be patient and that having a new baby means lots of changes. She said I would she said I would see that having a new baby on Wish Pond Road would be fun. I've been patient, but that's not what I see at all. What I see is that my friends have forgotten about me. How can you be friends with people you who've forgotten you? How do you how do you do how do you do when you don't like the way you're being treated? I pick up as I pick at a hole in my socks. There has to be something I can do. I shift around in my chair to get more comfortable. When I do, I think of something. Actually, I didn't think of it. The American colonists did. This week, we're studying the American Revolution in social studies. Mr. Knight taught, uh, taught us that when the American colonists didn't like how they were being treated by Great Britain, they decided to break away. That's when they wrote the Declaration of Independence. And then at the bottom, there are two people who have the Declaration of Independence. And there's the British king that's very mad. We won't take it anymore. What they wrote looked fancy and sounded fancy too, but the meaning was simple. They didn't like how they were being treated, so they decided to take the matter into their own hands. I'm going to do what the colonists did. I'm going to write my own Declaration of Independence. Mr. Knight told us it wasn't easy for the colonists when they declared their independence, but in the end they were a lot happier. I don't think it'll be easy to declare my independence either, but in the end, but... But in the end, I think I'll be happy too. I'll be happy too. I need to start. I need to. At least I hope I'll be. I don't see why I need to start from scratch when I write my Declaration of Independence. Mr. Knight gave each of us a copy of one, one that the colonists wrote. If what they wrote worked for them, it would work for me too. I opened. I open up my backpack. I take out the copy of the Declaration of Independence. I start reading it. Mr. Knight told us that what the colonists wrote sounds complicated, but complicated, but they really, but it really came down to three main ideas. Step one, colon, the colonists said everyone had certain rights. Step two, the colonists declared their independence. Step number three, colonists started acting independently. Independently. That doesn't sound so hard. I take out a notebook and a purple pen and start writing. A Declaration of Independence by Mallory MacDonald. In the course of friendship, sometimes it becomes necessary for one person to dissolve the bands of friendship with another person, or in, ca or in this case, two people. Everyone has rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Things have been done that violate Mallory MacDonald's right to the pursuit of happiness. Here's a list of those things. Thing number one, Mallory McDonald's best friends have forgotten about her. Even though they have known, even though they have known, the, known her for many, many years, they're acting like she doesn't exist. Thing number two, 
Milo McDonald's best friends are spending lots of time, lots of time doing lots of things with their baby brother, like eating family dinners and taking family photos and lots of other family things that don't include her. Thing number three. Milo McDonald's best friends have worn the same matching t-shirt since their baby brother was born. Not only does this violate the laws of fashion, it is also it is also rude to Milo McDonald, who has always been one who has always been the one to match her lifelong best friend Marianne. Thing number four. When Milo McDonald's best friend received special gif gifts at the baby shower that was supposed to be for their little brother and not for them, they were so excited about the presents, they, pr they practically forgot that she was there. Thing number five. When Milo McDonald tried to be a good friend and planned something really fun and special for her best friends, they did not, e they did not say thank you. In fact, they did not even show, they did, in fact, they in fact, they didn't even show up. They didn't show up. And because of the violation of all of these rights, I, Mala McDonald, officially declare my independence for my friends. This is an anonymous de declaration of declaration of Mala McDonald with Cheeseburger as her witness. And there's Cheeseburger's paw print and Mallory's signature. When Cheeseburger and I are done signing my Declaration of Independence, I put a thumbtack in it and put it on the bulletin board beside my desk. Now I, that I have officially declared my independence for my best for my friends, all I have to do is act independently, which I plan to start doing immediately. That's the end of that chapter. I'll see you next time when I read Independence. Bye, everyone.